Good morning and welcome to an episode of Drew's Book Reviews. So it is the end of March, March 31st. So it is time for my monthly reading recap, kind of go over what I've read this month and how my annual 2020 reading challenge is going. So this month I kind of just finished up some Star Wars books, uh, finished up with Riptide. Uh, Right at the beginning of the month, it was the first one I finished reading this month, uh, and this whole Legend Star Wars, uh, I have to say, like I said, I'm really enjoying it. I've got a whole Star Wars playlist on the channel, so be sure to go over there and check it out. Riptide just kind of being the end of the Jaden Core duology. Uh, really enjoyable, action-packed, good old-fashioned Star Wars. So definitely go check that out. Uh, you can see my review for that on the Star Wars playlist on my channel. Now, right after Star Wars, I started moving into uh, more fantasy type books. I started reading the whole Witcher book series. So it started out with The Last Wish. So this would be The Witcher 0.5. So this is part of the uh, prequel of books, uh, starting with The Last Wish, kind of a collection of short stories from Andrzej Sapkowski's world of The Witcher. Geralt being this magically enhanced superhuman that fights monsters. Uh, so definitely, if you're going to get into the Witcher series, this is where you want to start. You want to start with The Last Wish as you kind of get to know your characters and understand what his world's like and the kind of monsters that he's fighting. So this is The Witcher 0.5, The Last Wish. Uh, and of course, I have a whole Andrzej Sapkowski playlist on the channel. Then after The Last Wish, we've got The Sword of Destiny. So this is effectively The Witcher 0.75. Again, it's another collection of short stories that uh, fall into the whole Witcher world and everything that's going on kind of leading up to the main storyline within this book series, uh, which seems to be a story between Geralt of Rivea, The Witcher, and Princess Cirilla. And then we move on after that to the Blood of Elves. So this is kind of where our main story takes off with the Witcher book one, the Blood of Elves, and kind of gets, we learn more about Ciri or Cirilla, where she's at, where the world's falling apart, the different groups within this world and how they're interacting and how Geralt, Rivea, manages to get involved with them. So Blood of Elves was the next one that I read, and the last one that I just finished up is The Time of Contempt. Uh, again, from the Witcher book series by Andrzej Sapkowski. I'm actually currently reading The Baptism of Fire right here, so you'll get the review on that sometime in April. Um, so that's where I'm at with respect to the reads for the month of March. Uh, and with respect to that. So what does that mean for my reading challenge? Where am I at with that? Well, as you can see from here, this is a recap or total on my 2020 reading challenge. I'm currently at 16 of 55 books for the year. Uh, so I feel like I'm on track to meet my goal of 55 books this year. And uh, you know, I think I'm doing well, really enjoying it. I'm going to be finishing up The Witcher next month. Uh, so how does that How's your reading challenge going? Uh, how how are you doing this year? Are you making your goal? Let me know in the comments below. And that's just kind of a brief reading recap for the month of March. And we will definitely see you at the next reading recap in April. So there you have it. There is what I've read for the month of March and how I'm doing on my reading challenge. We will see you next time on the next episode of Drew's Book Reviews. And until then, keep on reading. Bye.